Burn Brighter This Winter is a Tasmanian government project in collaboration with local government and householders to encourage more efficient wood heater operation, reduce smoke levels in the community and save lives. This presentation is part of a series of videos aimed at helping householders understand why their wood heater may smoke excessively and shows how to light a fire, keep a home warm and reduce smoke by up to 90%. Professor John Todd is a consultant and academic based at the University of Tasmania with over 30 years experience in research on wood heaters and wood smoke. Firstly, when lighting the heater it is really important to use enough kindling and enough paper to get the fire going quickly. So really you want to have a good fire going within a few minutes, not leaving it to smoulder away for half an hour before you have another go at lighting it. So that's very important. And the reason this is important is because of, of this internal surfaces. We need to get the heater, the surfaces inside the wood heater, hot as quickly as we can. One good way to do this is to set the fire and before you light it, crumple up, loosely crumple up uh, two sheets of newspaper and put it on top of the load of wood that you've got in the fire and then light it. And what this does is the newspaper on top of the, uh, the load of fuel burns very quickly and the heat from that heats up the, the flue and because the flue gets hot it starts sucking more air into the heater and so you get, firstly it's much easier to light a fire that way uh, and secondly it, it heats up uh, much quicker. Now here are a few uh, photos of uh, a good way to light a heater. In this case the heater is a very old heater so it's not some modern new heater uh, but I just want to illustrate that even with an old heater it's possible to light it so that it burns cleanly very quickly. Uh, in the photograph there is some loosely crumpled up newspaper on top of the kindling uh, and then more newspaper under the kindling. Uh, the fire is lit and the door of the wood heater is just left slightly ajar. Uh, and the reason for this is that uh, uh, when the fire is first starting it's good to have a little bit of extra oxygen coming into the fire uh, in order to get it going quickly. Uh, the first photograph shows the fire one minute after it, after it was lit and the whole firebox is full of flame and the paper on top of the load of wood is, is burning very rapidly and heating, heating everything up quickly. Uh, the second photo shows the fire after two minutes and here the fire has died down a bit because the newspaper, particularly the newspaper on top of the wood has, has burnt away so there's not so much flame in there and this is a very critical stage of getting the fire going. Uh, in this case we can see there's still flame present, the door is still slightly open and uh, the wood is just starting to ignite. It takes a, a couple of minutes to get that kindling uh, well alight. Uh, at this time, so this is, two and a, this is outside with that same heater, two and a half minutes. So it's, it's very early on in the, the burning process and we can see against the trees there just a faint plume of smoke. And that's about as much smoke as you should ever get out of a wood heater. Uh, from then on the smoke started decreasing as the heater started to warm up and the fire started to burn properly. Uh, now we see the fire in this picture, uh, three and a half minutes after, after it was lit. Uh, the door is still slightly open and the kindling is now well alight and burning well. This is, this is good. It's uh, getting a good vigorous fire. The firebox is starting to warm up and outside the smoke is starting to get even less. After five minutes, the, um, the first uh, uh, smaller logs are added to the fire. The kindling's going well. Uh, the door is closed and uh, because the fire is already hot and there's plenty of air coming through, the logs catch very quickly and there is almost no additional smoke. So there's an example of within five minutes lighting a fire and only getting really a very faint, uh, faint amount of smoke. The advantage of course is that you have the, the heater operating and giving off heat within five minutes of lighting it and so th this is good for the householder as well.